see I am back in the van, right? My, uh, my driver decided to get his own van, so I am back in the van until further notice, until I find another driver. And he's off again, leaving me. I like to walk my kid into the school like we walk together like a team, but he takes off running. Man, come on, man. kill me. Hey, my goal is to um, make sure everywhere I go, I got some kind of hug the kids apparel on. You know what I'm saying? Either on my hat, or on my shirt, or somewhere visible. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my goal. Even if when I go somewhere where I need to have like um, casual kind of clothes on, I still want to put it on my clothes somewhere, like hug the kids. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to see it. So I'm making my way to Orange County to do some pickups. Um, since I'm back in the van again, um, I'm uh, looking. For, I'm, I'm in search for a new driver. Uh, so if you're looking for a position in driving and you're in the Long Beach, LA area, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up, leave a comment, contact me if you see me in the streets, wave me down, flag me down, do what you got to do. I'm gonna find somebody soon, cause I'm. I'm tell you the truth. Tell you the truth. I'm spoiled. I was like, I was not driving the van. My, the driver I had was driving the van all week, so I was at home doing a lot of writing and, and doing a lot of, um, you know, plenty of time to do my YouTube stuff, my skits and videos and things like that. So now I got to get back in the van and mix things up again. dropping off my passengers at LAX and I am here on top of a random building uh, looking at everything. I bet you like how I managed to take my shirt off without taking my hat off. I know you wish you could do that. Nah, I took my hat off and then took my shirt off and put my hat back on. I'm telling you, my goal is to, to make it a habit or even like a part of my life to make sure I have other kids on everything that I wear. So even though I'm not, not going anywhere, um, and then I took my shirt off and put the hat back on just because, I'm just trying to make it a habit. Because it's, it's a part of my life, you know what I'm saying? Your brand is a part of your life. Um, what you, I mean, your behavior is uh, obviously is a part of your life. Like my behavior, every day I hug my child, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, to, to let him know that I love him, of course, and if, when you know when he get older, he gonna hug his children as well. You know, it's changing the family tree, it's changing the culture. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal. That's the goal. Do my hands and my head like this? I'm being dramatic. Is he like making any faces behind me? I'm sure he is, right? Doing some weird stuff, right? Oh, I caught him! I told you. All the bubbles coming up. We are doing something really fun right now. We are walking home. <laughs> that quick, I think I found me a new driver. Let's go check him out. What's up, man? Huh? You got everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn it in tomorrow. Okay, bro. H6 form, and yes, that's it. Good? Okay, okay. Absolutely. All right, bro. All right, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hit you up. Okay, bro. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Do you think I should let him come home and do homework for five minutes and then watch Netflix? He wants to watch Netflix after five minutes of doing homework. Something is wrong with that, ain't it? As I tell him every day, in order to get what we really want in life, you have to work hard for it. You have to um, go through obstacles. You gotta go through, you gotta be you know, persistent. Um, Perse perseverance have to be have to be there you know what I'm saying like you got to go through things to get what you really want I can't allow him to come home and do homework five minutes and watch Netflix like to me that's child abuse if I allow that don't give me that sob face keep working come on let's get it get to it I'm hoping everyone had an awesome day it was pretty hot today you know what I'm saying the pool was pretty tempting should have took a dip <laughs> me and mister but you know just took it easy but <clears throat> anyway hey parents I think you're awesome I think you're very very amazing me and you both do an awesome job on a day-to-day -day basis and um, raising our children 
um, our nieces, our nephews, just kids in general, the ones that are around us all the time, we do an awesome job in raising them with integrity. Um, the, you know, uh, we keep them fed and, and uh, make sure they're safe, right? Yeah, me and you do that. We get credit. No one else. Not the entertainers and, 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 and presidents and stuff like that. They don't, get, they don't get credit for that. We get the credit. We come first. You know what I'm saying? We feed them. We changed their shit when they were little. They didn't do that. We did. Um, but, hey, one hug a day will take awkward away. You change the living room, you change the world. I promise you. I'm a phenomenal dad at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes I drink alcohol. Sometimes I engage into sex. Sometimes I use such language as fucking ass sometimes. But at the end of the day, I'm a phenomenal dad. Hey, we have a good rest of the day. I'm about to go back out here and, and, and drive a little bit more. And, uh, work, work on that new driver, right? And I will see you guys later. Have a good one.